preface this particular video, this is talking about me, a little bit about me, and why I like the show My Little Pony, which I did a video on ever so long ago, or at least it seems so long ago. If you have no interest in this particular topic, kindly move along. If you want to leave hateful comments below, I mean, do it, I guess. That's, that's on you. Cool. Now, to start all of this, I just want to say that a big part of this is the fact that I really identify with Twilight Sparkle. Just to get that out there, I grew up the bookworm, the book nerd. The kid who was always trying to learn stuff and didn't really talk to other people for a good long while because, well, I had my books to read. My parents started me out by reading to me from books, but not just child's books, you know, not little picture books, but novels, full novels. And I started from there and I kept reading. I was lost in other worlds all the time. So, I mean, right there, I have a bit of sympathy for her character. But it is a lot more than just me liking one particular character. Every character in the show, all of the six, the main characters, each are a positive archetype for people to look to. And they do this without being incredibly cheesy or ham-fisted or over-the-top with the morals. They don't do that 90s cartoon trend of, at the end of each episode, here is the moral you should have gotten. A good offender in this is Sailor Moon from the 90s, if anyone remembers. Sailor says, because you didn't already get the memo, let's hit you over the head with it again. They don't do that. They make the lesson apparent. I mean, you sort of get one of those, but what about, you know, what about the letter to Celestia at the end? Isn't that hitting you over the head with the moral? Not really, no, no. It's taking the idea which was already shown in action pretty clearly and just giving it a quick touch-up. It's not like, this is the entire moral from start to finish. Here is why it happened, and here is what you should have learned. No, it's a, I learned X. Bye. From there, you may take what you want from it. They don't lay it out to you in exactly the terms you need to internalize it, as they say. Another really, really big thing that draws me to the show, personally... Well, the bright colors, I'm not going to lie. There's the bright colors. It's in flash, it's shiny, it's colorful, it's entertaining, it's funny. Same I could show. go on. I mean, you have Pinkie Pie alone. I mean, color, sound, fun, interesting stuff happening, right? The other big thing is the show manages to give you conflict, interesting conflict, without resorting to what a lot of cartoons have to do, or a lot of shows in general, which is antagonistic conflict. And what I mean by that is the kind where there's some evil person or bad force at play, and it's good versus evil. Often in the show is it much more gray, where it's friend versus friend over either a misunderstanding or some core difference of opinion, something like that. It's conflicts where no one gets beat up, or no one's shooting off powers and crazy nonsense. It's a conflict where people resolve their differences through talking and understanding. Not only do they teach a lesson, but they do something I see ever so rarely anymore, which is honest conflict, where you don't have an over-the-top villain, at least most of the time, season openers and closers besides. <laughs> you don't have an over-the-top villain filled with all sorts of magic that can only be taken down by fighting and all of this stuff. No, it's peaceful conflicts that teach lessons that are still interesting. They're not degraded to the level that showmakers think children operate on. There's another big thing. A lot of quote-unquote children's shows are actually aimed at what seems to be single-cell creatures when it comes to the level of reasoning they assume their audience to have. It's insulting. Especially when you think about parents will have to watch this show with their kids, probably, if they're younger ones. They're, they're making these shows to the lowest common denominator of the youngest age group, so they're babbling at you. And the show doesn't insult your intelligence that way. Also, I'm a sucker for a female singing voice. That's just a little personal aesthetic thing, and that show does singing. It does good singing. And when your show gives me characters I enjoy, and then they sing, and I enjoy the songs, you've got me. Uh, you've got me, hook, line, and sinker. Good job. Here's my money. <laughs> it is also one of the most adorable shows I have ever seen. Yes, I said adorable. I don't give a crap. I'm a guy, and I think that show is cute, fuzzy, and adorable. And you know what? I love it. I love it. It drips with that honeyed niceness, and I love it. I have no care or shame in saying that. That show is brilliant in the sense that it conveys good ideas through simple means, 
And it's all so cute and wonderful and adorable and fuzzy. <laughs> you almost just want to give the show a hug. And I know, oh, you haven't given very good reasons for liking the show, really. Well, there's no good reasons to really like a show, at least objectively. Everything is entertainment, and people's tastes in entertainment are personal. If you want to come at me and say, well, I hate the show, well, fine, you hate the show. I am not affected by this, and I'm happy for you. You probably like your own things. You don't have to like what I like. This is just me expressing my fanboyishness over this. Now, I want to quickly address the brony community. Um, I don't consider myself a brony. I want to get that out there. It's not like, oh, I don't want to associate myself with those people. It's not quite like that, no. I'm an openly a pony fan, so you can already tell that's not the issue. The issue is that fandom, like most, kind of insane. Just want to say that. You people are cool. A lot of you people are, but some of you are insane. And I love the show, too. Don't get me wrong. I love it, but calm down just a little bit. Just, just a little. Calm down, please. 